The Texas Department of Transportation, or TxDOT, welcomes you to the I-30 East Corridor Community Briefing at the Jubilee Park Community Center. We appreciate your interest in the project. The subject of this briefing is the I-30 East Corridor project from I-345, I-45 to Ferguson Road. The project includes reconstructing and widening approximately 4.4 miles of I-30. The proposed project is needed because the existing highway infrastructure does not meet current design standards. Dallas County's continued population growth and increased traffic demands highlight the need to improve the existing highway infrastructure. The purpose of the project is to improve mobility, connectivity, and safety by upgrading the roadway to meet current design criteria. The project would improve cross-street connectivity and provide multimodal complete streets to serve bicycle, pedestrian, and vehicular traffic needs. The reconstruction of I-30 provides the opportunity to depress I-30 and reconnect city streets over the highway so that I-30 is less of a dividing barrier between neighborhoods and communities. The existing I-30 highway includes four general purpose lanes in each direction and one reversible high occupancy vehicle or HOV lane. The existing general purpose lanes and HOV lane are on an elevated bridge structure from I-345, I-45 to Haskell Avenue with overpass bridges from Peak Avenue to Dolphin Road. The frontage roads vary from two to three lanes in each direction and are discontinuous within the project limits. The proposed design includes five general purpose lanes in each direction and two reversible managed lanes. The general purpose and managed lanes would be depressed below ground level from I-345, I-45 to Dolphin Road. The design would allow cross streets to bridge over I-30 and connect with frontage roads at grade. The proposed design also includes discontinuous at grade frontage roads with two to three lanes in each direction, the reconstruction of ramps and cross street bridge structures, and accommodations for bicycle and pedestrian travel along the project corridor. This slide shows the existing and proposed conditions for the I-30 East Corridor project between Caldwell Street and Carroll Avenue. Notable destinations in this part of the corridor include the Santa Fe Trail to the north and Jubilee Park and Community Center to the south. The top image shows the existing I-30 corridor which currently divides Caldwell Street and Bank Street. The bottom image shows the proposed condition which would provide new bridges to reconnect Bank Street and Caldwell Street across I-30. A total of 15 existing streets would be maintained with improved crossings of I-30 and connect with new segments of frontage roads where such are constructed. The proposed project would reconnect four additional streets that do not currently cross I-30, which include Bank Street, Caldwell Street, Gurley Avenue, and Beeman Avenue. In addition to improving the local street network connections, the many cross streets would be compatible with design guidelines in the City of Dallas Complete Streets Design Manual. This manual encourages the design of city streets to serve the destinations located along the streets for safe use by motor vehicles as well as bicyclists and pedestrians. The proposed project will improve ramps along I-30 to meet current design standards, providing safer ramps that are more user-friendly. Four new cross street connection bridges are provided at Bank Street, Caldwell Street, Gurley Avenue, and Beeman Avenue. These new bridges will provide vehicles, bicyclists, and pedestrians new ways to cross I-30. Construction phasing for the project will be further developed during the final design of the project. The proposed construction will be staged in an effort to minimize construction impacts to the adjacent communities. The development of the schematic design and evaluation of the potential environmental impacts of the project are ongoing. After environmental clearance is received, the detailed design of the project will be developed to assist in letting a contract for the construction of the project. Because the project is currently not fully funded, the project timeline shown could change based on the availability of funding. We are anticipating an open house public hearing in the fall of 2022 that would be both in person and virtual. The public hearing will be an opportunity to provide both verbal and written comments regarding the proposed project. We sincerely appreciate your participation and interest concerning the proposed design of the I-30 East Corridor project. For additional information, please contact the TxDOT project manager, Nathan Petter, by email at nathan.petter at 
Thank you. This concludes the presentation. We encourage you to review the exhibits and role plots of the proposed schematic that are on display here today. Our staff will be available to answer any questions you have.